Wagwan beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef B if you're new to this channel. Welcome Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. So for today's video, we're about to install this wig from OMG Her Hair. And this is what the wig is looking like straight of the out of the package. This is their ombre wig silky straight and i got this in 20 inches it is a hundred and eighty percent density and the color of this ombre is quite unique it's giving more like a ash type of blonde and this is what what inside of the wig is looking like this is their undetectable hd lace frontal and it comes with a band on the inside so you could wear this wig glueless if you wish to so since this wig is a center part i'm feeling more like a side part today and do you see how clean this hairline is like it's pre-plucked the knots are already bleached for you pretty much everything is already done for you so if you wanted to wear it in a center part you could just wear it straight out of the box but girl i'm feeling for a side part type of vibe today so i'm just gonna grab my hot comb and i'm going to mold the hair with the hot comb in the side part so all you need is a hot comb and a wax stick and she will be laid for the gods so you see how i'm really going through that hair with the hot comb because i need it to lay flat flat i need this wig to be looking like it's coming out of my scalp you feel me so after i have molded molded the hair into um the side part i'm just gonna take my flat iron and just straighten the hair since it's a silky straight hair it didn't take much effort at all to get it straight so this wig is obviously a hundred percent human hair i'm loving the 180 percent density because it's not too full and it's not bulky and it's not thin it's like the perfect amount of volume for this hair Now this is what the hair is looking like after I have finished flat ironing and look how silky that is. So for this installation, I'm not going to be using a wig cap or a ball cap because I feel like when I don't use it, the last time that I tried an installation, it looks so effortless and I didn't have to put too much powder makeup on the lace to hide the wig cap so i'm like girl we're just gonna slick these edges back and we're gonna put on the wig as is so what i am going to do however is put a little bit of this bronzing powder on the lace itself because i still needed to match my complexion i needed to have that cocoa brown type of look you feel me so we're just gonna apply that all over our frontal so now I'm tightening the band in the back and then I'm going to fold the lace over. This is how I apply the wig onto my head each and every time like it sits snugly this way. And also it helps me to attach the combs in the wig onto my braids. So you know my braids are going to be like the anchor for the wig. And however I thought when I first did this it's going to be like so much tension on my hair but babes i did not feel any tension at all on my braids like it was just sitting on my head without that super super snug feel like i'm about to have a headache like it just sit how it's supposed to sit and the combs just laid flat inside the braid so as you guys can see look how flat the wig is laying like you could definitely wear this like a glueless type method if you wish to but obviously we're gonna be doing um the meltdown process because yeah i need that to be melted so first things first always i always cut the lace around my ear just to make sure that it's laying flat i can wear the the hair behind my ears if i wanted to i could do a half up half down all that good stuff always cut the lace at the ear first then i'm gonna make two cuts in the middle and this is gonna help me apply uh, my ebin spray and i only use this spray when i'm applying my wigs because again i'm not doing the ball cap method so i don't need the heavy glue melting process especially since i'm going to be putting this on my hair on my edges like my head my edges are still intact and that's for a reason that's because i don't use them heavy abrasive type glue like no like we don't need the heavy stuff over here like i'm fine with just using the ebin and then keep it pushing you feel me so that's what we're gonna do under the lace and then we're gonna use our blow dryer for a couple of seconds to make sure that it is dry 
and melted. Now once everything is dry, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to go in a zigzag type motion as opposed to going straight across. Because when you go straight across, it looks hella obvious with the lining, especially if it doesn't completely match um, your complexion or your makeup or whatever. So then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the EBI and spray on my fingertip, dab that onto my lace, and then I'm going to tie it down with this wig band. Once that is being dried, I'm just going to go back with my wax stick to make sure that I get all the flyaways because this is a silky hair. We need all them flyaways to disappear, like melt into the hair, like go away. Like we need it to go away. So now once my hair or my lace rather is fully dry, I'm going to remove the band. And for me, I was like, okay, we could definitely leave this slick down, like without the extra soups or edges or baby hair or whatever you want to call it. But I'm like, no girl, I want, I want a little soup to the dupe type action going on the side. Like you really don't have to do it, but I was feeling for a little swoop today. So we're just going to take this little, um, flat iron and then we're going to curl the hair and then we're going to use our EBI and spray on our edge brush and we're going to swoop that hair in like we're just going to give it a little swoop to do, do nothing too crazy just this one swoop because I absolutely feel like I had to do just that one swoop. done that i'm gonna go in with some bronzing powder just to make sure that everything is matching up so when i'm taking my photos i'm not seeing the harsh wig line in my pictures you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna go in with some more of that bronzing powder on my parting so that everything is blended and this is the final look like i am loving this color i don't know how to describe it it's like a blonde ashy brown type of look and it's just gorgeous gorgeous the hair is flowing it's giving me life let me know what you guys think about this unit all the details will be in my description box down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on all social media platforms at damn Bats chef and i'll see all beautiful people in my next video go on big up in yourself bye guys